Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me for my second art journaling video. So, when I made this art journal, I just had, that day I just really had an itch to oil paint. And one thing that I'm trying to do for this year and beyond is that when I have an itch to do something or make something, to not blow it off and actually just do it. So, um, I just started off with uh, gessoing the page because oil paint has a lot of oils, obviously and paper is not designed to hold on to oil paint. So um, putting gesso down on there is just a way to make the paper non-absorbent so it won't seep through. But that being said, I think the gessoing stage was really the only thing that I did that went quote unquote according to plan. So the first thing I changed my mind on was that I decided to make it a half page instead of a full spread because I kind of wanted to do some kind of um, vertical oriented landscape painting and so this is where things actually started to go downhill because what I wanted to do was do a classic Bob Ross wet on wet uh, landscape painting and so what you have to do is you have to put down this really thin layer of of this uh, liquid white oil paint and what it's meant to do is that it's meant to keep your paint wet for days. I've done these wet on wet paintings on um, on canvas and it won't be dry for a week and a half if you use too much. But I didn't realize that even if you gesso your paper, um, liquid white will not stay wet on paper, or at least not in this case. I think where I went wrong was that I didn't put enough gesso on my paper. I probably should have put down two coats instead of one and it just, it, it just turned into a huge disaster. So. Here what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make basically a sunset. So like what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take a color, put your other colors around it, and then just kind of let the liquid white blend everything together kind of automatically. And then you take another brush and then you kind of lightly blend everything together. Another thing that went wrong is that I realized that my brushes were still quite hard because I had spilled linseed oil on, a, on quite a few of them a while back and I've been trying and trying to clean them off but it just it hasn't been working they're still very stiff and they're still difficult to work with at times and so that was also making things difficult and here's where I started to realize that my liquid white was drying out because this if you do this correctly the colors are already supposed to be blending together fairly easily without a lot of effort and so if oil paint doesn't have medium to it or liquid white behind it or something like that it can dry out really really quickly and so it was starting to dry and I was trying to put down more paint to try to maybe extend the drying time a little bit and it was just it was just a complete hot mess like my sunrise turned into like this blob of color and it was just it was it was not good and so I was starting to get really frustrated and I was kind of thinking you know what? I'm just gonna tear out this page and start all over but then I kind of realized you know what this is an art journal is this isn't um, this isn't a finished piece. This isn't something that is supposed to be this big complicated thing. It's an art journal. It's a place where you're meant to play with your materials. You're meant to kind of explore and just kind of express how you're feeling in that moment. And you know, I think it was also a good thing because I think it was almost 11 o'clock at night when I started doing this and I get up for work at around like 5, 5.30. And so maybe it's just like a sign from the universe that I just need to do this a little bit more quickly and get to bed a little earlier. So then what I ended up doing was I just kind of blended my colors together, put in some yellow at the bottom, and just made this abstract kind of image out of it. And so from there I just started playing with my uh, black paint and just making these cute little swirls and this fun little, just a fun little abstract piece. And you know, I really think this is like the epitome of that famous quote from Bob Ross, which is, um, there are no mistakes, there are only happy accidents. <laughs> and so I think this is just a clear case of a, of a happy accident. Um, I thought it was gonna be a complete disaster and it turned out to be something really nice and really cute. Um, but another thing I learned from this is that I really need to take more time to practice. I really don't play with my materials enough. I kind of have this really bad habit of thinking that when I put a brush to a canvas or put a pencil to paper, that I need to create a completed piece. Um, if it goes wrong, it's just not worth it anymore. It's just, I get so frustrated. I'm like, why isn't this perfect? 
And I just, I need to be a little bit more nicer to myself and I need to just take time to practice before I start putting together full pieces. And so here what I'm doing is um, I'm actually making these little white bits into hearts because again, because the brush had hardened a bit and made these like triangular type of shapes. And so I thought it'd be cute to make them into little hearts. So that being said, I would like to try to work with oil on paper a little bit more just to get some practice in and so that I'm not wasting my big canvases or anything or spending a whole lot of money on new canvases. So if any of you guys out there have any good tips on how to use oil paint on paper, that would be very, very helpful. And of course, if you have any other suggestions for future art journaling projects or any other future drawings or paintings or anything else, please feel free to leave me a comment. I always like to hear new ideas and um, I love getting inspired by others. So any kind of comments on whatever kind of projects would be awesome. But yeah, I think that pretty much wraps it up for today. So thank you so much for watching my happy accident art journal today and I will see you next time. Bye.